Welcome back to EA Sports. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski getting set to call all the action here. Petrangelo's one of those guys who's an attraction selling tickets for this one, Ray. Dangerous offensive player. He can skate and shoot the puck. Any team would be lucky to have him. Yeah, you can just feel the buzz in this city all day long, and we are seconds away now for this opening faceoff. The Bulldogs take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. Drives to the paint, and the play's whistled dead. Let's get the call. The Bulls are getting called for boarding on the play. A little too rambunctious on the hit. The sound, I think, alerts the referee and boarding's the call. Chicago's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Everybody's having trouble getting on the board tonight, but here's a power play, the first of the game for them. Puck picked up by Subban, and that's broken up. Stopped by the goaltender. Leonard's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. St. Paul's won the faceoff deep in their own end. They get it out of the defensive end. Chicago's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Sends the pass over. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Snaps one here in the slot. He was locked in there. Dead center. Excellent save. Hughes is quick on the draw. Takes the feed. Tees him up. Scores! No extra time needed here. They get onto the power play and take advantage of that man power. They move the puck nicely, and it's in the net. This is a really good place to get lost on the ice. The defensemen are down low defending. The forwards are worried about the point. If you can find this high slot play, you often are going to get a one-timer. Chicago's got a quick goal here early in this first period, and with it, a different energy in this crowd. Everybody gets ramped up a little bit. You score early, you hope you can. Now you have, you go get another. McNabb's got the puck in his own zone. St. Paul's moving it into the offensive end. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Janssen's been nabbed for tripping. Reaching for the puck, trying to be in position. You're just a little bit away, and then you get nabbed for tripping. Yeah, it's always tough to use the I got stuck excuse, right? It never works. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. This is a pretty simplistic power play. They like to get the puck, shoot it, crash the net, get it back, and shoot it again. What a great time to have a man advantage as they trail by one. Chicago's had the shot advantages, and they also have the lead. The Bulldogs win the draw. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. St. Paul's got it from behind the net. Pass it up ahead. Cuts to the front. Stopped by the goaltender. Blackwood's got the puck, and he's going to go for the whistle here. He hasn't had a lot to do this period, but he's been excellent and has been able to control the pace of play. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. one nothing is where we sit at this point. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Solid check to slow him down. Puck cleared from the defensive end. St. Paul's got it behind the net. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Sends it over. He scores! Well, they've been hoping that the extra work they've done on the power play would help them capitalize. They do a nice job there. Ben 
the goalie's going to look at his teammates and say, is anybody going to cover the high slot? He was so open, he was able to hammer home the one-timer. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. With possession along the wall. Bratz taking the puck behind the net. Knocked away. The Bulls gain possession along the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Manages to hang on. The Bulls carry it along the wall. Right in front of the net, and they can't convert on the play. Moves across the point. Takes a wrist shot. Where was he going there? Ah, uh, this is the best thing, James. It's not you, it's the stick. He looks <laughs> at the stick. He's going to have to get a new one. Ah, uh, the excuses. St. Paul's moving it up the ice. Solid hit on that play. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Feeds the puck across to Petrangelo. Gets it over to Carlson. Traps that puck tight to his chest. And there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. I wanted to get another look at this one, James. This looks like it hurts. I'm glad I'm in a suit here. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's all tied up. The Bulls will go to work here in the offensive zone. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Move to the middle. The goalie's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. So close to this game being untied. But a really good chance hits the pipe and stays out. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Martinez will serve two for tripping. Always a little careless to get a tripping penalty. You get your stick into the player's feet, and when he goes down, you're going to go to the box. The Bulldogs send their man advantage unit out once more. I like the way that their plan has been successful, and it's pretty obvious they're going to stay with that same mode. Here's a shot. Misses a golden opportunity there. Not going to get many better chances from that. Dead center right in the slot. And now he moves it quickly to Nosek. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. And a strong effort on that play. And a successful clearing attempt. Chicago's got a hold of it along the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Sends it across. Blocked in traffic. St. Paul's got the puck shorthanded. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. St. Paul's penalty is now expired. Now the pressure ramped up on the penalty kill there as they go into that last power play tie. They do a really nice job. They keep the game knotted as the power play wasn't able to cash in. Things getting physical now. Wow, did he lay the wood to him. That's a solid hit. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. From one point man to another. St. Paul's looking to break out. Handles the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Shot in front. Fantastic save. We often talk about a goalie's reflexes. You've got to have quick hands to make a glove stop like that. Leonard's always a battler. And here he makes a great save on this chance. In the final moments of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Bulls win the faceoff. And he slides it quickly to McNabb. Takes the shot. And he comes up with it. The setters will glide into the dot. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Off the draw, and he 
ties up his opponent. Puck scooped up by Murray. Pushes it across to Pratt. Pumps the puck away. Marchessault's taking it from his own end. The Bulls are on the attack. Here's a short pass to Stone. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Denies that opportunity. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Vadnin's got it in the defensive end. Slides it on over to Zajac. Hammers the shot! Denies him! He got all of it! A most entertaining start to this one. 20 minutes in the books and both teams getting on the board. Do you know someone in your community who goes the extra mile to help out? Nominations for our team player awards are available in the concourse in the lower seating level. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period. with a chance to recharge and refresh in this second period about set to get underway. Been a fun one so far. Neither side giving an inch. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? The Bulldogs continually trying to generate something, get the defense up in the play, get some shots on goal. They've had virtually none, yet they're still tied. Shot on net, comes up with a stop. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Chicago's got control of it now from their own end. Gains the zone through the middle. Taken by Stone. St. Paul's got the in the defensive end. Moves it to the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Scores! And they go up by one! Tied no more. That's a big goal to be able to take the lead. Uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area, and the rebound is put away. St. Paul's tenacity finally earns themselves the one-goal lead. Now be a little cocky. Play like a front runner. You've got the lead. You've worked hard for it. Puck grabbed by McNabb. The Bulldogs scoop it up along the boards. St. Paul's got the puck in their own end. McNabb's got it along the wing. Lost it up on the play. Now you get in the right spot. Sometimes the thing just hits you. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Stones him with the blocker. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. From the point, they take control of it. Quick feed to Johnson and makes the save. St. Paul's got the puck along the wall. Smith's got it in the offensive zone. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Blackwood's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Butcher's showing a lot of heart here. It takes a lot of courage and gumption to finish a shift when you're injured. We hope that he's okay. St. Paul's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. The Bulldogs take possession off the faceoff. Butcher's stick handling in his own zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Chicago's got the puck along the boards. Can't connect. Oh, what a save in front. Leonard Sharp can make that stop. Picked up along the boards by Noshek. Inside his own end moves the puck. And now it's grabbed by Tuck. St. Paul's got the puck against the boards. And that's picked off. Hangs onto the puck. That's a solid check on the play. 
Quick pass to Nosek. And that one's blocked. Battle along the boards. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. To the front. Stopped by the goaltender. Gains the zone through center. Chicago's got it along the wall. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. That's a dangerous scoring chance, but the goaltender makes a great save as he's able to snuff it out. Well past the midway mark of this period, it's a 2-1 hockey game. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Passes on over to Marcheseau. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Chicago's ready to go on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Subban. No one home on that play. Theodore's picking up steam. They've got the defense outnumbered. What a steal in his own end. Chicago's got it along the wall. Keeps hold of the puck. Takes it to the Whoa. net. They put it in the back of the net and we're tied. They've worked hard for this goal. They get the chance. They finally put it away. And now everything, as you mentioned, is all level. Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going. But the backhander beats the goaltender. Chicago's even things up here in the late stages of this second period. Working to get this game back to square has not been an easy road, but now it's a short game as we enter the last little bit of the second period. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Murray's getting called for tripping. They're going to be down a man here. Once he gets his stick into the player's feet, it's almost inevitable a tripping penalty will result. Tough to argue that call. St. Paul's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. When you get scored on the power play and you get one now, you can't wait to get over the boards to get started again. Moves it to Tuck. Takes it to the front. Oh, a clutch save. Puck clears the zone. St. Paul's gained possession along the boards. Tuck's got it across the line. Here's a short pass to Smith. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. And it's a quick pass to Petrangelo. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Lays into the body. Quick feed to Stevenson with the stop. Still tied here as the power play fails to come up with a goal. The only positive for the power play there is they didn't have to skate up and down the ice. They didn't generate anything. They had it in the zone, but really nothing very good about it. Snaps it on net. Denies him again. That's why a goalie can never relax. He makes one stop. Now he's got to be sharp to make another. Blackwood's able to recover, and he makes an unbelievable save here. That's a good chance. Late goings of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Moves the puck. Handles it along the blue line. And just a bit outside. Period comes to an end, and lucky us, we've got one more period to go in what has been a fun one this evening. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long on the radio for every minute of play-by-play -play action, both home and away. Or listen to the online simulcast at home or on your smartphone. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. Face-off for period number three is ready to go. And we are underway here in the third, still tied. And now he moves it to Stone. Into the corner. 
snapper from the slot. Scores! The deadlock's broken. That's a big goal, and they put him into the lead. Wow, did he hammer that? Too much power for the goalie to control, and it hits him and still goes in. St. Paul's gone ahead here by one in the third. What's the message now for the stretch run, Ray? To be aggressive. Too often teams sit back on their heels. They give up a chance. They give up a power play. Pretty soon it's an all-out scramble. Here he is on the backhand. Gives them nothing in front. The Bulls play it along the boards. Here's an odd man rush. From the point, looks to make something happen. Quick pass to Theodore. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. The Bulldogs move it in. From along the half wall, a chance turns him away. Leonard's right on top of the scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Bulls have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. That's a smart read with the two centermen tied up. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Chicago's had outstanding stick positioning. Coaches will love to show this in the video tomorrow. A little rock'em sock'em on the play. Tosses it on to Janssen. Centering pass, and that one's broken up. Puck picked up by Smith. St. Paul's in now. He grabs the puck here at the point. Stays with it. Jabs the puck away. Moves it quickly over to Hughes. Here they are on the attack. Can't connect. Chicago's got a hold of it against the wall. Rocked on the play. Moves it to Nosek. Strong defensive effort. Butcher's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here comes the call. The official. The Bulls are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. Fishing around for the puck. He gets his stick into the player's feet. And this becomes an easy call. Chicago's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Down by one. Now you've got a power play. Make sure that you're organized and look for the tying goal. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Gets it out of his own end. Retrieves the puck. Trying to kickstart this power play. Across the line from center. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Here's a short pass to Paul Mary. And he denied that opportunity. And another stop. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. And manages to clear the zone. Chicago's got the puck behind the net. Tries to feed it over to Vatanen. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the choppers on that play. Both teams back to even strength. Really nice effort by the penalty killing unit on that one. Oh, they're going to rue that one. A chance to even the score here. They didn't get it done. And we go back to even strength. Quick feed to Pacioretty. Coughs up the puck after that hit. The Bulldogs have it against the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Nothing doing on that. From the slot, can't get it to go. Scooped up along the wall by Severson. He carries the puck up along the wing. Puts it to the front of the net, and he totally whiffs on that one. Puck battle along the boards. Grabs it in his own end. Looks to make a play over to Smith. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Tripped him up, and he's off to the box for it, Ray. Reaching out for the puck to get your stick into his feet. This is the consequence. Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Carlson's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Oh, denies him with the save! I think he got the blocker on it! A fake face-off here inside the offensive end. The Bulls take
take possession off the faceoff. Stone. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Puck scooped up by Stone. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. And the parade to the penalty box will continue as play is called for yet another penalty. The Bulldogs don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Taken by Murray. Trying to clear from the defensive zone. And that's a big clear on that play. Now, coaches are always telling us about details. There. And that's another power play marker. Oh, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They had done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. They got out quick on that rush. Now they've got the extra man. And on the power play, they don't miss. The odd man rush goal is in the back of the net. St. Paul's taking the two-goal lead here in the back half of this third period, Ray. You can imagine, James, the emotion and the energy on their bench is way higher than their opponents who might have seen one of the final nails in the coffin. Oh, that's like a car crash against the wall. What a hard hit that was. He had him closed off, and he really laid the shoulder in. Moves around along the half wall. St. Paul's got a hold of it along the wall. Takes the feed. Carlson's going to play it against the half wall. That knocks him off the puck. Putting the hard hat on here. What a hit. On the backhand. Stones him in front. Great tracking. He finds the puck. He gets the glove up. Makes the save on a dangerous chance. Ooh, you don't want to be on the receiving end of that. That is a freight train that went right over top of him. St. Paul's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. Palmieri's won the draw deep in the defense zone. They move the puck out of harm's way. And special teams comes up huge. Great job by the penalty killers to keep this one tight. Well, the penalty kill does a nice job there. This is an important time of the game, and they answered the bell. Oh, the athletic therapist is already waiting for him at the door. He got crushed on that hit, and he needs some help. Big play inside the defensive zone. Quick pass to Martinez. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Denies him in front. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Tuck's going to try and shake this off and get back into the game, but he took a heavy hit there. Here in the late goings of the period, St. Paul's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. Inside of the final minute here in the third. Now a quick pass to Petrangelo. A shot, and he makes the save. Chicago's got the puck along the wall. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. St. Paul's looking to break out of their own end. The sense of urgency has really set in. They pulled the goalie, the extra attacker's out. Puck grabbed by Butcher. Sends it across the ice. Moves it quickly over to Janssen. Turns it away. Yeah, he flashes the leather there to make the stop on a really difficult chance. Passes the puck over to Glass. Towards the empty net. Scores into the empty net. Well, he shouldn't miss that. I mean, there's nobody standing there. Put in the cage, man. No pressure, right? Oh, now you got a couple of goal lead here with the empty netter. That should be enough to put this away. St. Paul's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead a big time late in this third period. The Bulls win possession here in the open ice. Petrangelo's got it against the boards. Stone assisted by number nine, Cody Black. Handles the puck at the point, and he can't hang on after that hit. Oh, he put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. The Bulls have peppered this goaltender with shots tonight. A big lead. 
I bet you the goalie's pretty happy he heard that noise of the post behind him there. There's the horn, and that's the hockey game. Over the course of the season, you don't typically see too many performances like this, Ray. Yeah, on either end of the chart. Yeah. One that you get dominated this bad, or two that you completely control every aspect of the game. They dominated the shots on goal number. That doesn't always matter, but their quality of shots led to a very comfortable win. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.